Hey guys, so today I want to take a look here at uh, on the iPhone 4S here and I want to check out the brand new uh, iOS 8 that you can now uh, install and um, if you want to, uh, you have to register your UD ID kind of uh, and I have a link in the description so you, you can check that thing out uh, but let's just take a look here at it because on the iPhone 4S uh, that's basically the uh, last uh, or the oldest iPhone that you will be able to install iOS 8 on. Uh, so that, that could definitely be something good to know there. No uh, iPhone 4 uh, will be able to install this. So if we just go to, um, I'm just going to go in here, turn that off. And I think I'm also going to go into this auto lock and disable it so it doesn't turn off the brightness or anything in this video. Uh, okay, so let's uh, check this little thing out here. Uh, so this is how it looks the first time you install it. So let's um, first drag down here. You can kind of see the notification center and it's updates here, uh, which is actually bringing out so third party developers, uh, they will be able to bring out widgets to the notification center. Uh, which definitely will be some exciting stuff, uh, I have to say. And then we do have a little bit more simplified today in notifications. Just swipe here between them. Uh, you also, of course, have the control center here. And you can see that you can't see through. Uh, and also remember that this is a hands-on quick video. But uh, when you bring it up, you can't see through as good as you can uh, on uh, the iPhone 5 and uh, the 5S. You can see there a little bit lag overall, of course, definitely more lag, way more lag than uh, than the, um, the the newer iPhones. Uh, but you can see here spotlight, of course. Now when you search, you will be able to find way better information. Uh, movie tickets and Wikipedia articles and music and stuff like that will uh, pop up there in the spotlight search. Uh, you also will have support for third party keyboards, which definitely is something that's awesome. And I kind of noticed that it seems to be way more laggy here than the 4S was on iOS 7, uh, which definitely could be good there to know. You can see the brand new uh, wallpaper here. And of course, as I said, first look video, it's not a full review video, but still pretty fun to do. Uh, you do have the new health app here, uh, where you will be able to track your nutrition, your sleep, and you will have the fitness here that you can track as well. And then you do have diagnostics. I mean, it looks pretty. It looks pretty professional inside of here. I, I gotta say that. And then you have me, which is yourself, your sex, your birth date, your blood type that you can fill in. Uh, in this little beta here, uh, iOS beta, you have a bug reporter as well, so you can report bugs and stuff like that. And you can also see here, when I go in and out like this, it's pretty snappy. Or it's way more snappy from what I can recall from iOS 7, or compared to iOS 7, even the latest iOS 7.1.1. Seems to be way better in that little area, which is some cool stuff here. So you have the square panorama mode here inside of the camera app and video mode of course and time lapse and then also these new things you can do with pictures where you can go in like this you can go and hit edit and you can manage the lights and a ton of different things here you can go in and tweak I don't think this was available in the previous versions here But I might be wrong because I missed a human. And this is just the beta one. <laughs> that can definitely be good to know. 
uh, all of the other apps, most, most of them should kind of remain the same uh, interface here. To see here, you did see WWDC here. Of course, here with iOS 8, you can watch on Apple's website more, a little bit more detail what is new. I mean, there's a lot of things uh, that is new, especially if you have a tablet as well. Uh, messages, design, and that they also will have a smarter keyboard in this little version iCloud, Drive, Health and be able to connect your iOS devices more with your iMac and iPad and a better spotlight, of course, newer SDKs for developers. And you can also see, of course, which, which kind of phones and devices it will be compatible with 4S, the 5, 5C, the iPhone 5S, and the iPad Touch 5th generation. And then also some tablets, iPad 2, iPad Air, iPad Mini, iPad Mini original display. So, of course, the the more newer and up-to-date devices. You can kind of see what kind of iPhone this is down here. You just also see what kind of model number this little version here has. You can see it's having this version, 8.0, 12.0, 84265U. So yeah, just quickly look here on the 4S. Seems to be pretty okay. So yeah, quick look.